Hey YouTube, Joseph Vollmer here. Hopefully you can hear me all right. Um, today I'm working on my 7753 Bobcat that you can kind of see sitting behind me here. Um, got a hydraulic leak and the best I can tell, I'm going to show you roughly where it is, if I can get enough light. There is an O-ring and I'm going to see if I can get a good, give me a second here, zoom in a little bit and then flashlight or my flashlight so I can kind of get some light that whoop okay that hydraulic fitting right back there that is one of the hydraulic pumps and I don't know if I get a better view from down here or not um, not really okay that fitting where did it go gosh darn it okay we'll zoom back out I can get a better view now. Okay, that fitting back there, hiding right behind that belt, you can kind of see it right there. Okay, where it attaches to the pump itself is leaking. Now, that is on the pump, and I, I don't know how well you can see it. I'll show you again when I get it out, and the camera's actually focusing on the belt, not the fitting. There you go. There is a nut up against the pump, and there's a washer behind that nut, and then behind the washer is an O-ring. The O-ring, I believe, is probably shot. The washer was a little bit loose, and I think that O-ring is what is leaking. In order to get that off, I have to take the line off, which is the fitting on top. Um, let's see if I can... Shit. Pardon the language. Okay. I have to take the line off. Whoop which is that fitting right there on top. Then I can back the nut off and then that will spin out of the pump. Then I can take a look at the O-ring. Now, the difficulty is gonna be reaching in there to it. Um, <clears throat> theoretically, I could flip the cab up and probably get to it that way. The only problem is I don't have enough overhead in here. I don't know how well you can see this. I don't really have enough overhead in here to flip the cab up. That's only about three feet above the roof of the cab to the floor joist to the second floor. And I'm gonna need more room than that. So, let me flip it around here. <laughs> we'll turn this way. So, what I'm gonna have to do, I've got some crow's feet and I'm probably gonna have to use crow's feet on ratchets to get in there because I think my big wrenches are gonna be too long. They're gonna be hitting stuff before I can bust that upper line loose. I'm gonna take the upper line loose, get the fitting out, inspect the O-ring, but I have a feeling it's probably shot. Um, crap, I forgot my O-ring kit down at the house, but I'm gonna find a O-ring in my O-ring kit that matches up to it, put a new O-ring in it, put it all back together, fill it up with fluid. Now I could back it out of here and possibly move it into the other barn and get the cab up. The only problem is right now it is really, really low on hydraulic fluid and I don't wanna add any more fluid to it until I fill up or until I fix it because I, I suspect that that is an output on the pump but as soon as I take that line loose I think I'm probably going to end up losing a majority of whatever little bit of fluid is left so um, like I said we're gonna get I'm gonna get that fitting off I'll show you what's going on once I get the fitting off all right guys so we're back I got the fitting off I'm going to get in here and hopefully the camera will still focus. Um, I don't know if you can see how that O-ring has got that taper to it. It's not exactly round anymore. And it's pretty stiff. Um, there's a little right in there. I don't know if it's going to sh It sh looks like it should show up on camera. There's a little crease in it. I don't know if that's where it was leaking or not. I mean, you can see it. But... I'm gonna say, oops, sorry. I'm gonna say that that is probably, hopefully, my leak. Now, if you look at the washer that backs up this O-ring, it looks like it's got a really, I don't know if it maybe got tightened down too much on it or something. I don't know what the deal is there. It just doesn't quite look right. But hopefully, that's not my issue. I'm thinking it's just, I'm thinking it's just this O-ring. It's not this washer. So, and unfortunately, this is a really weird fitting. 
I didn't know this line was coming off the side. This is the way you're seeing it now. It's the way it's mounted on the machine. This is back hidden behind the engine. This is what I was showing you before. Basically, this is what they call a JIC fitting. It's an O-ring fitting. Now, I had to take that line off. That's where the line attached. I had to take that off first, and then this attached to the pump. This actually had a flared line that attaches to it. I didn't realize that was even there until I rotated this 90 degrees to try and pull it out and I could see it coming off. So hopefully I didn't damage this line at all, didn't kink it or anything. It's going to be a pain to get back on, but um, everything was nice and tight. So I'm going to have to make a general assumption that this O-ring is was my issue, why it was leaking. Uh, I'm going to get all the crap cleaned off of this. I've got some carb cleaner here in the toolbox. Uh, first things first. You're just gonna clean the crap out the threads. Wipe her off. Get off my gloves, because these are the absolute world's worst gloves. Well, Second to the world's worst, let's put it that way. Um, now, grab, oh, grab my O-ring assortment here. size small. Okay. Now, I can't say oh, how what you guys can be able to see this. Let me bring you out here. There's more light. I can't say this is going to be an exact match, but if I hold the ends of that one together with the two of them sink flat, you can kind of see they're pretty close to the same height I know my fingers are in a way they're about the same thickness at least this one is still nice and pliable so we're going to very carefully Get her down here. I'm gonna move it around just a little bit to make sure that it doesn't have any. Uh, I can see. I don't know if you can see. There's there's actually a seam where the O-ring was cast, basically where the mold was when they molded these things. And I can see that seam in the same spot on the O-ring all the way around, which tells me it's not twisted. I don't want it twisted, and it fits nice and tight over the area where it's supposed to sit and you know the washer fits up nice to it and then what happens is when you put it in you tighten you run this down as far as you can spin the fitting in and then you tighten this nut down and that nut force pushes against the washer which forces the o-ring into the back of the pump to make the seal so I'm gonna get it all put back together and hopefully I'm going to try and inspect the line that attached here, and I'll, I'll try and show you real quickly where all this is. Uh, grab my flashlight. Okay, now that I got the fitting off, you can see. Right, uh, I'm picking some light. I can see the light. Right there is a hole in the back of the pump. You can see the line that was attached to it on top. The other line that you can see right through there past the belt, that is that flared line. And you can see I kind of tweaked the end of it. So I'm hoping I didn't do any damage to it and I can get it back on and get it tight. <sighs> we'll see though. But, you know, you can see into the pump there. Everything in there looks clean. I'm going to try and get her back together.
All right, well, anyway, that was a success. I got the cab up, oh, there you go, up between the joists, and it's locked. Anyway, as you can see, there's the, well, maybe you can't see. There's the safety lock. It's engaged. The only problem is the uh, line I need to get to is on the opposite side of that pump from where I'm at. Well, that might explain why she's not charging. I got a wire. I don't know. That didn't come off the alternator. I don't think. We'll have to look. Oh. Let's see if we can get in here and see anything. I kind of doubt it because this cab, as you can see, I don't have a whole hell of a lot of room in here. I wanted to get really skinny to get way back there on the other side of that drive pump. Well, that is the wire coming off the alternator right up there against the exhaust. That's never good. Hmm. Gotta love that. Alrighty, well, maybe I'll lay a sheet of plywood down here or something, a piece of plywood that I can lay on, try and get in there. I don't know. We'll see. Alright guys, so I'm going to try and show you this real quick. Yep, I got her all back together. Got, oh, turn this beam lens around. Got it all Put back together back in there. Had to crawl underneath the cab and uh, reach around there to finally get that little bitty fitting on the side that you can't even see from here started. And maybe you can, no, you can't see it from here. Had to lay some cardboard down and go into the cab to get it started. Now, I'm gonna set you guys up here. Throw the cab up in the air. And I know it's kind of on a funky slant. I got the battery back in it. Try and level you out a little here. I'm just trying to set you up here so you can kind of see what I'm doing. And I gotta fill up the hydraulic fluid. Because the last time I was working it, oh lovely. So I'm gonna have to put the cap back down because that's the only way I can access the hydraulic fluid filler cap down. I'm not going to bolt the cab down because I actually have, there's an electrical issue I need to take care of that is actually one of the charred wires for the alternator that I showed you guys. I guess I'm going to see if I can fire it up and get the boom up a little bit because I can't get to the filler. I don't know how much. I don't know if there's even enough fluid in here to raise the boom. Keep fogging up. 
And we got our wedges in there, dipsticks out. Brand new bucket of hydraulic oil. Ready? Oh, I can see it in there now. Let's try it again. Because I can actually see it down in the tank. Oh. Stick it. And, yep, we are above our full mark. So. guys I got bad news I'm gonna try and show this to you my o-ring fitting is not leaking the pump housing itself actually has a crack in it I could feel it I'm gonna try and spin you around and show it to you here it's really hard to see but I could see where the fluid just and I'm gonna try and zoom in here if I can get in the right spot with the light and everything else. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. Right up there. About even. Oh, come on, focus. Focus. About even with the top of the nut on that fitting. Ah. Every time I get to zoom in on it, it goes out of focus. But, I think that's where it is. I can feel it. Let's put it this way. I reached in there, after I cleaned it off, ran it for a minute, I could actually feel it. And it's up right around in there. Uh, hard to get the light just right here. Right there. Right almost the top of that nut. When I edit, I'll try and put an arrow or something going to it. But that, that housing's cracked. So, I don't know how well you can see me. See my mess here on the ground. Oops, if I zoom out, that'll be better. Got my mess here on the ground to pick up. I'm going to get that picked up. Head down to the house. I'm going to check out my parts manual. I don't want to know what a pump's going to cost, because that's probably going to be at least a couple hundred bucks. Um... So, I don't know what I'm going to do. Keep checking the fluid level, run it like it is for a while. 
see if it gets worse or yeah I don't know so don't think that's something I can take off there and weld up and I think that's aluminum housing so anyway guys uh, do me a favor like I said please comment uh, rate subscribe share this thing I'll catch you on the next one don't be afraid to get out there and get your hands dirty you might just have fun doing it you might end up cussing something we'll see you later